You're late, Stevens. Or is it possible that everybody else on Earth is early? It's an interesting theory. I never... Wait, wait a minute. You know what? Usually I would bust you for that sassy mouth. But it's dodgeball season, and all is right with the world. Oh, Stevens, you might want to put some ice on those bruises. Sir, I, uh, I don't have any bruises. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's limber up those mathematic muscles. Let's begin with problems one through six. Excuse me, you're in my seat. Is there a problem back there? No, he was just sitting in my seat. Sorry, Lewis, I gave your seat to Lenny, the new transfer student. Is that a problem? What? No, 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 no. You can sit wherever you want, sir. I'll just, uh, I'll take this empty chair, okay? Actually, I prefer the window seat. Mr. Craneful, could you please put your classmate down gently? Gently being the key word. Here's five. You okay? Yeah, who is this guy? They call him Lenny the Lifter. Why do they call him that? Hmm. Oh, right, of course, right. Yeah. Word on the street is that he got kicked out of his old school. What? Probably went on a lifting spree. Here you go. Oh, okay, good to go. Okay. Ooh, thank you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Ren Stevens, and welcome to Lawrence Junior High School's very own TV news, The Wombat Report. Today, a special feature, dodgeball, a good time activity or a barbaric celebration of pain and violence that sadistically pits the mean and vicious against the weak and skinny. Here's Nelson Minkler with a medical perspective. Nelson? Thank you, Ren. Skydiving, shark taunting, dodgeball, the three most dangerous activities as ranked by the American Medical Board and myself. Though I've managed to creatively avoid dodgeball, I've witnessed its savagery. What are the three most common injuries, you ask? Nosebleeds, fat lips, and welts the size of a three-egg omelet. Ouch. Back to you, Ren. Gosh, thank you, Nelson. Okay, so we took one of our hidden cap cams into Coach Tugnut's gym classes and came away with this disturbing footage. Now, to help you get the most out of your dodgeball experience, I'd like you all to meet Target Timmy. If you want to drop your opponent like a sack of potatoes, aim for the hot zones here, here, and here. You'll earn extra credit, and he'll learn a valuable life lesson. So dodgeball is really about earning and learning. Hey, take the hat off. No hats in class. Lose the hat. Take it off! We caught up with Coach Tugnut after school to ask him some questions. Hi, I'm here to ask Coach Tugnut the tough questions about dodgeball. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Coach Tugnut, is it true in dodgeball that you encourage kids to inflict as much pain as possible? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what about the hot zone, Miss sir? I have no comment. Well, we need to know the truth. The truth is, I'm a very busy man shaping young lives. Like the dinosaurs and the Macarena, let's make dodgeball extinct. That was great, Ren. You nailed that dirtball tugnut. <laughs> Nelson, we're still on the air. <sighs> Excuse me, excuse me. Cut 
me start. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Lewis. I need to talk to you. Listen, if I offended you in any way, I am sorry. And in fact, I'd like to pre-apologize for anything I may do in the future. I just wanted to say thanks for the pencil. Pencil? Uh, right. Old number two. Well, you're welcome. Hey, you want to eat lunch with me? Yeah. Thanks. Come on. Hey. I forgot our pudding. I'll go get her some. All right. Hey, Lou. Hey, I got us a table. No, what's wrong with this one right here? Uh, that's the eighth grade table. Yeah, so? What, do you got a death wish? No, I don't think it's gonna be a problem today. Go ahead, sit down. It's nice knowing you. Um, Stevens, this table is reserved. Larry, this table is only reserved because you and a few of your unattractive friends say it is. <laughs> Listen, little man, I'm gonna give you three seconds. One, two. Larry, be a peach and pass me the Dijon. Lewis, they're out of pudding. Oh, no, not a problem. Sit down, Palsy. Do we have a problem, Larry? Um, no. No, <laughs> no we, we got no problem. Well, except for the fact that me and my very, very good buddy Lenny here still don't have her pudding. I mean, you wouldn't mind, would you? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lair. And my buddy here? Um. Mm. Is it just me, or is it putting extra special today? Hey, hey, Woody, come on, take a seat. I can't, man. I gotta take back my book. No, 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 no. Why don't we have one of the eighth graders do it for you? Right, Lair? Oh, my buddy Lenny here, he hates overdue library books, don't you? You hate them! It's true. Okay, um, library books. Um, take this to the library. Hey, um, Lou, don't worry. I'm about to find, uh, it'll go on my bill. Cool. Sit down. Can we roll or something? Hey, Lou. Coach Tugna, you wanted to see me? You got a problem with dodgeball? Um, uh, why were the lights off? It's for a dramatic effect. It's called Tugna Ain't Happy. Have a seat. I take it you've seen my dodgeball expose? Don't try to use fancy foreign words, Stevens. It just makes you look ignorant. Now, because of you, Principal Wexler is holding a referendum. And if you don't know what that means, the dictionary says it's a public measure we all vote on. Dodgeball in or dodgeball out. If you believe in one thing, Stevens, believe in this. Dodgeball ain't going anywhere, ever. Again, for dramatic effect. Oh, gosh. Oh, do you, do you want some ice Please. for that? OK. Life is sweet, Twitty. You are right, man. You know, thanks to Lenny, we have all day protection. And it's like the guys want a big deodorant stick and suddenly we're smelling pretty good, you know? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go use the eighth grade bathroom. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Do an extra flush for me, all right? Oh, sweet. Cool. Lenny, don't think so hard. You pull a muscle. Lewis! <laughs> Stop. Listen, listen, stop. Do you want to be able to hear you? I don't. Stop. But it's not fair. There's an English assignment due tomorrow, and I just got here. That's what you're crying about? Homework? I'm sorry, Lou. I'm just afraid that if I don't do well in school, I'll never graduate and become a... A uh, policeman? A private investigator? A... Python trainer! A pastry chef! <laughs> I can't find my hanky. <laughs> Are you saying he was actually crying? No, dude, I am saying major cures. Lenny the Lifter's real name should be Baby Cries a Lot. 
And it's all over some stupid poetry assignment. Well, if the whole school finds out about this, then they won't be scared of them anymore. Or us. So what are we gonna do? Well, for now, I convinced friend to help him. I hope he comes up with something dark, mean, and hateful. Lenny, your poem is so gentle, sweet, and loving. You really like it? Well, yeah. I have to admit, when I first met you, I didn't think you'd be this sensitive. I wish everyone could see that. You know, we move around a lot, and every school I go to, people are afraid of me. I just wish people wouldn't judge me by my size. I just got a cool idea. Why don't we show the whole school what a sweetie pie you really are? How do I do that? Read your poem on the Wombat Report. Really? Lenny, 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 listen, bro. Do you really want to read your poem on the Dumbat Report? Yes, I do. We have the whole eighth grade bathroom to ourselves. Comfy chairs, assorted toiletries. Not to mention two-ply toilet paper. Look at this. Feel the quilted difference, soft as a baby's bottom? Look, Lewis, I've made up my mind. I'm reading my poem. I mean, can't we just talk about this? Ah! Ah! Okay. It's not so bad. I thought it was gonna be a real doozy. Well, see you on TV. Dude, <gasps> one little paper cut and the guy turns into the Incredible Hulk. Yes. Yeah, he does. Did you ever notice that when the Incredible Hulk turns back into David Banner, his clothes aren't ripped anymore? Tony, never mind the Incredible Hulk. I just figured out how to stop Lenny from reading his poem. Yes. Nelson, are you okay? No! I'm hyperventilating! Coach's tug net didn't find my chronically throbbing earlobe excuse. It's gonna make me play dodgeball. Oh. Look, relax. Okay, we're gonna get through this. You know, we got a referendum coming up, and pretty soon, dodgeball will be outlawed, and you'll never have to play it again. But what about our opposition? Opposition? <laughs> Save dodgeball? What are you, Coach Tugnut's lackey now, Larry? No, you're absolutely not my lackey. I am absolutely not his lackey. Look, we demand equal time on the Wombat Report to debate against you and your anti-dodgeball views. You know what, fine, I'll debate you, but I'm going to win. Your dodgeball days are numbered. We'll see about that. Oh, and Minkler, we'll see you at the dodgeball game, and if you thought your earlobe was throbbing before... <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing? Almost. Done. Dr. Zappenstein's installed. Is it gonna hurt? Well, no more than a paper cut. And that's all it takes to make Lenny go ballistic. Right, which the whole school will see. Keep your life. All right. Okay. Now, you're absolutely sure that it's going to work. Yeah, it's been field tested. Good old Dr. Zappenstein. Oh! <gasps> Lewis! And plus, this is the deluxe voice-activated version, which means the second Lenny starts reading his wimpy poem, get a little visit from the doc. All right. Oh, someone's coming. Oh! I cannot believe I'm hearing this, Elsa. But, Rin, it's true. Well, you agreed that you thought the dodgeball was barbaric and violent. But that was before I actually played the game. Thank you. Listen, I dashed. I darted. And dare I say it, I dodged. It was exhilarating. Ren, I think you should reconsider your position. That's not going to happen. Come on, people, we have a broadcast to do. Ren, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, 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 take it easy. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, don't start bawling on us. Lewis. Lewis, I'm really nervous about reading my poem. No, don't worry about it. You're gonna buzz right through it. I wrote it about you. Here's a copy. Really? Mm. Are you okay? Do you ever feel the gnawing pangs of guilt? 
You know, the ones that make you feel like a terrible person who doesn't deserve to live? No. Me neither. But it is the closest I've ever been. All right, listen, this is what we're gonna do, okay? You're gonna ask her a question, I'm gonna switch the chairs, good? All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, hey, Ren. Hey, um, you know, is it true that, that a dog's mouth is, is actually cleaner than a human's mouth? Twitty, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Look, I have a broadcast to do. Hey, okay? what is going on here, man? Are you harassing her? Huh? She's a very busy woman. I, I want you out. You know what? But no, said shh, don't talk to you. You, you. you get out now. What? You get out now. I'm sorry. You get out. Good morning, and welcome to a special edition of the Wombat Report. Our historic dodgeball debate is coming up. We hope this will help you decide whether to continue this savage athletic competition or make the more enlightened choice and ban it forever. But first, let's turn to our poetry corner to meet the newest transfer student, Lenny Cranepool. Emotional by Lenny Cranepool. I wish you could see beyond my size to the person that lives inside. There is someone who sees the real me. His name is Lewis, and you see, he never judged or laughed or tried to hide. He just treated me like any other guy. I owe a lot to this true friend. I hope our friendship never ends. <laughs> it really hurts to be left out. If you have any doubt, try being me for just one day. <laughs> And I'm sure you'd agree when I say that being feared cuts like a knife. But one good friend can change your life. Thank you, Lenny. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful, man. Shut up, Omar. Look, life is going to be good again. <laughs> Stevens just lost his bodyguard. <laughs> now it's time for our dodgeball debate. I'd like to welcome my opponent, Larry Beal. Um, thank you, Ryan. My fellow wombats, I am here to save a beautiful tradition. Chucking balls incredibly hard at each other. Lou? Yeah. Isn't Ren sitting in the chair we rigged? Mm -hmm. The dodgeball is not a yeah. crime. This is not going to be pretty. But in an inalienable right. Ren? Larry, I ow! I ow! I ow! Louis, ow! I ow! I ow! 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 Louis, ow! Uh, uh, over here. Larry, maybe I was a little too hasty. You have an excellent point. I do? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry just persuaded me that there's a time and a place for dodgeball to be a very rewarding experience. Ren, I'm glad you finally saw the light. It's nice to be on the same side for once. Yeah, gentlemen. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to this. Uh, you kids mind if I join you? Be my guest. OK. Let him in. Uh, Coach, you want to see me? like you're out of ammo. <laughs> you know, actually, no. What's this? Old Reliable.